Hey everybody, it's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. And would you look at that, I got Mrs. Butter back with me. Today we're going to take a look at a women's Air Jordan 1. So I thought it'd be wonderful if we'd get your opinion on them. Are you pumped? Oh, totally. She's really <laughs> pumped. She's been looking forward to this forever. But today I want to look at the Jordan 1 High in the satin bread colorway. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these satin breads. And before we get to those, I just wanted to show you all today, I am rocking the Varsity Red Jordan 1 High 85s. I'm really loving this pair. I actually parted with the satin breads to pick these up. But anyhow, that's what I got on feet. And Mrs. Butter, what are you rocking today? The Carbon Yeezys. The Carbon Yeezys. You're a big fan of 350 V2s. Yep. And also the 350 compacts, the black and white pair that you have? Yes. All right. Well, looking good. Thanks. So the Jordan 1 has always been one of my favorite silhouettes. You have a couple of pair mm -hmm. of Jordan 1 highs. Mm -hmm. Where do you rank Jordan 1 highs? Highs aren't my favorite, but I do have the Bordeaux and I really like them. They're yeah. really pretty. And then you got me the And pollen, then I got you the right? pollens for when we go to Pittsburgh games yeah. and that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. I do like them. She has some highs, but I think you would prefer to have lows. Yeah. And more so than that, you're a big Dunk Low yeah. fan and you also rock Yeezys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We've got a standard women's Jordan 1 high box. It's red with the black letters. Actually, the 85s come in this too. So the shoes that I have on feet came in a box that looked like that. Nothing out of the ordinary. The tag reads Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colors are black, university red, and white. I got a size seven and a half. I was able to reserve these at finish line and I used some status rewards to get a little bit of money off. My finish line only had a real limited amount of sizes with these. Since it's a women's release, they only go up to the equivalent of a men's size 10 and a half, but my store didn't even have that. I think they only had up to a women's nine. Retail on these was 180 US dollars and I used like $20 in status rewards to get some money off. Are you super excited? I can't wait. I haven't, I haven't showed you these because I want to get your honest first impression. I showed you pictures. Oh, okay. I haven't showed you them, Actually. so you've seen pictures of them, but okay. you haven't seen them in person. Okay. All right. <laughs> the anticipation is killing you, right? I like the picture, I remember. Well, yeah. All right. And first off, I love it whenever we get little goodies oh, yeah. look at that a little tote here i'll let you hold that no, up so i don't block you isn't that cute is. what do you think of that i like it and you're a teacher by profession so i could see you <laughs> going to school carrying your little teacher goodies in there you know a notebook <laughs> <laughs> a notebook right yeah it is kind of small a and <laughs> yeah a notebook and a pen right it is kind of small but i think it's cute all right and now for the oh. shoes. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Oh, really? I like the satin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. They're kind of like, I don't know. It makes it more um, dressy, I think. You know? Yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. It definitely does. I was not expecting that reaction. And they, I don't know, they look a lot different in person for sure because of the satin finish. It's very different looking and even the tongue, feel yeah. the tongue, even the tongue is real oh, okay. slick and yeah. I don't know. They do look different. They definitely have a different look, even like the eyelets and stuff, I feel like just the whole shoe looks different to me. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, whenever I saw these, I do think they look nice. Of course, the channel was called Bread and Butter, bread for black and red Jordans. But I was a little disappointed when I saw really? them. Really? Yeah. See, I, can, I I think they're pretty cool. I could see with, with as crazy as the girls like wear like the tennis shoes with, um, you know, at proms and formals. And yeah, I yeah, could yeah. see them wearing these for Valentine's Day. Or something. Yeah. With their like, you know, formal like sweetheart dress. Right. A hundred percent. Wow. So you're a fan of these. You like these a lot. I think they're really cool. Well, there you have it. I guess 
20 years of marriage and I still don't know what you what you're going to like you huh? for the most part for the most part <laughs> for the most part I'm a big fan of the bread colorway for me this kind of sits like the patent Jordan 1 breads did remember yeah. they were all patent oh, yeah. leather mm -hmm. and they were really cool looking but then the longer I had them in the collection I just realized like I'm not going to wear them yeah you know what I mean like for me it wasn't really wearable but I could see you rocking these mm -hmm. and I mean it would they'd go with your outfit that you have on yeah. I feel like it's a really good Christmas time shoe but I would also be worried just like I was with the patent breads I would kind of be worried that the materials would get a little bit yeah, messed up you know so. like I noticed on this one look at this there's like a dent uh, a or something yeah. yeah it looks like on the one shoe it looks like on the toe box it got like stabbed with something back by the laces i don't know if that's coming through on camera or not i mean aside from that they look really really nice i just don't think they would be forgiving at all uh if you got crap on them and of course the winters around here i mean there's yeah. always like salt and snow and slush on the ground so I don't know how they do around here. It's a bread Jordan 1 high, so obviously they look cool. I feel like it was hard for me to get past not having the little ventilation holes on the toe box as well. Like, I'm not used to seeing oh, a Jordan yeah. 1 that is just solid like that. Yeah. You know, doesn't that look weird? I don't, I mean, it looks different, but I don't know. I just, I feel like this looks like a more girlier version. A hundred percent. I just, it really looks like the satin and and also probably without the you know ventilation in the toe box it, it just makes it girlier yeah and i think it makes it look kind of sm like more petite and little it does you know? doesn't it yeah because these are seven and a half and you can wear a women's seven um i'd imagine you'd be fine with a seven and a half too but they don't they look just as small as like your other ones i think do. so too i keep trying to tuck the tongue in but it seems like it's wonky on this pair every now and then whenever i get a pair of jordan ones it doesn't matter once you have them laced up it lays fine but like this tongue will not stay in there and i think it might be too just because it's such a smooth yeah. material so it keeps on popping out mm -hmm. yeah slippery little suckers huh <laughs> you know what i think another reason why you might not like them if you would compare them to the shoe that you have on now this is like a lot brighter you know and maybe you just like it is the matte finish yeah and these are varsity red and this is university red. So okay. Oh, so, okay. and you're absolutely right. I love how flat looking these mm -hmm. are. And there's not a lot of shine. With these, it's almost like the color is like glowing, especially yeah. in comparison with the ones I have on especially my feet. Especially on the heel. I love the heel. Yeah. Yeah. And they do, they have a really nice shape. Well, what did our big girl say? What did the old eldest say? Yeah. Uh... She liked them, but she thought that they would get messed up too oh, easy. Yeah. She's way easier on her on her shoes than what our middle child is. Our middle child just throws shoes on and punishes them, <laughs> which I don't mind at all. Because if you're a kid, you might as well punish your shoes. But like she has the Bart Simpson SBs and stuff like that, and it doesn't phase her one bit. She doesn't tiptoe around puddles or anything. She's just in full send mode at all times. But we love her for it that's driving me insane not being able to yeah sure thanks <laughs> so one other thing that i always like to ask whenever it comes with extra laces it came with the black laces in there just flat black laces and it also came with a spare of flat red laces what what would you rock i guess it would depend on what i'm wearing yeah if i wanted to be more flashy i'd probably wear the red if i right yeah, I wanted to tone it down, wear the black. And that's one thing I noticed. I think with the pollens, you've messed with the laces. I think you've swapped the laces on the yeah, pollens I, once or twice. Yeah, I think I like the yellow. It seems like if you go with the same color as the tongue, it's always like a toned down version, Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. One other thing that I noticed about these, aside from them being satin for the whole upper, is the Wings logo, instead of being like stamped on there, it's stitched on. Oh, yeah. And I think that's pretty neat looking. It's almost like minimalistic looking. Mm -hmm. It looks almost lacy. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. But yeah, I could see these being worn around the holidays and that kind of thing. 
I agree with you. I do think that they have a feminine look to them. Not saying a guy can't rock them, so don't get mad at me in the comments for that. <laughs> However, I also agree with that. To me, this looks like more of a women's shoe. So I don't mind that the Jordan brand did this as a women's release at all. This isn't a shoe that I think like, oh, I'm going to throw them on, you know? Yeah. I never even got around to wearing the patents, and I don't think those look girly like this does. But like always, we'll take a look at the outsole, standard Jordan 1 tread pattern, pivot point in the front, Nike brand there at the midfoot, and it's in that same red color, classic looking outsole. Then coming up to the midsole, we've got bright white and bright white stitching. And I like the way that that really pops with all these deep, rich colors on the upper. Looks nice. As I mentioned, the toe box doesn't have any perforations in it. And I think that's kind of weird looking. But like you said, it almost does even add to the feminine aspect of it. And another thing I didn't mention, the shape of these is nice. Mm -hmm. They don't look wonky or anything. The toe box comes back at a nice slope and they do look sleek overall. So I think they did a good job on that. For the entire upper, we just have this black satin material and then the red on the toe box. Then we've got red at the base of the heel and up here by the collar, where again, we have that wings logo that's stitched on. And then we have a satin swoosh. I like the embroidery. Mm -hmm on the edge of the swoosh. I think that's pretty cool yeah, looking. Yeah, I noticed that. And like you said, I really like how they look from the back. It's got that nice hourglass mm -hmm. shape. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. Then up near the collar, you get more of that satin in the black color peeking through. And the tongue is so slippery. It's like a satin material as well, just like you have for the rest of the shoe but that's why I couldn't get the tongue to stay in the shoe. I think it's nice looking. I bet they might be pretty comfortable yeah. because I'm actually noticing that the satin continues for the sock oh, yeah. liner as well. The tongue has black piping going along the edges of it and it's got a black tag at the top with red Nike Air branding and that is just a classic looking tag. And like I said, the sock liner is more that satin material, but down here on the insole, it's a red and it's got Nike Air branding down on it. I just noticed the aglets have a Jumpman on them and they're a nice silver color. That's pretty cool looking. I think that kind of adds to like the premium look and feel of yeah. them. So that's a pretty quick rundown of these satin breads. What would you give them one out of 10? Uh, an eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. Do you like these as much as your Bordeaux's? Maybe slightly less, but okay. I, I don't know. They're up there. I think yeah. They're pretty nice. Yeah. And now another thing that I was thinking too, for me, a bread colorway like just makes me slobber because it's an OG colorway like Jordan wore and that sort of thing. But that OG factor doesn't really play a part in your decision. Like <laughs> you don't care if it's no. a colorway that Jordan wore or not. No. You just like what you like. <laughs> yeah. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that was a pretty quick look at these kicks. I appreciate you being on here and sharing your opinion of them. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to have you around. Thanks. We just finished up our crazy running season, so yes. maybe now we can breathe yeah. a little bit, right? <laughs> yes. Well, we appreciate you all watching tremendously. Let us know what you think about these down in the comments, and we will catch you on the next one. We're out.